Hello, welcome back everyone. Today I have a question from one of my viewers and this person wants to know why her ex-narcissist new supply hates her and why the new supply contacted her after they were engaged and actually made it quite clear that she was joining in in the smear campaign against her. This is really distraught, um, this person. Her name's, we'll call her Elizabeth, and she's from New Zealand. So I'm going to read you uh, her story, and then we're going to go and we're going to see uh, some of the reasons why this has occurred. Okay, dear Marina, please help me with this, as I am finding the situation very difficult and overwhelming on many levels. I stupidly contacted the narcissist after eight months of wanting nothing to do with him. I knew he was a cheater and a liar. I had no idea why I was continually thinking of him, thinking of him. And in the end, I just thought, well, maybe we're meant to be together. Maybe we are, you know, soulmates. And so that's why I contacted him. But I had no idea he was sending me thought projections, which is something that they do. Uh, they do. We often will think that they're our thoughts and they are their thoughts. Um, so we met up. Yeah, I asked him if he was serious about getting back with me. He said he was. He lied. Uh, when he got back with me, or presumably, he had played with my emotions and the confusion had started very early. Then he said to me, he couldn't give me what I wanted. He ghosted me. After a while, I started to feel that something was really wrong. Um, you know, that we, he definitely had blocked me this was the first time he had done this. Then to make it worse, he gets engaged and he posts it all over Facebook. Mm, they do like their Facebook. And then I find out that his new supply is joining in in the smear campaign. She then contacted me on Facebook and sent me a hateful message and telling me all the things, the bad things I had done to him and to stay away from him. Mm. Why would his new supply hate me? Wow, this sadly is very common. I don't know if people here in the audience have also experienced this. Let's go through some of this. So first of all, uh, Elizabeth can't stop thinking about him, which is, as we know, it's very, very common. Then she starts ruminating thoughts. She believes that they are her own. And so she contacts him. Now, this is interesting because lots of times when you do go to contact them because you can't stop thinking of them, that's exactly what they want. So remember, energy travels, emotions travel, thoughts travel. Yeah. Now, here we go. Here's the real clincher. I can't give you what you want. Yeah. Yeah. So you can imagine the rejection trauma here for Elizabeth when she then goes and finds that he's actually engaged to someone and it's all over Facebook. So for the new so for the narcissist to have secured this new supply, one of the first things that they need to do, they need to start talking bad about the ex. So you know, she's crazy, he's crazy. And if the new supply goes in to defend him, shows him pity, shows him alliance, then the narcissist knows that in this case, she's going to be easily manipulated or, you know, if it's a he, but we're talking about a she here, that she's going to be easily manipulated. So where do we go then? So now that's the first reason why. 
The second reason why is that the narcissist is absolutely hating on Elizabeth and really does want to uh, destroy her in some way, whether it's with jealousy or triangulation. Now, the narcissist has to show, look at me, I'm engaged now, I didn't want you. Also, the new supply, knowing that Elizabeth had wanted the narcissist, but the narcissist had left Elizabeth for her, we can see how that's now strengthening this new supply as well. So he's able to groom the new supply and he's able to absolutely discard and emotionally destroy Elizabeth, who's now being dumped. But not only that, she knows that she's being talked about not only by her ex or possibly his friends and everyone else, but the new supply has joined in. So this is really, really common for new supplies to hate on uh, the narcissist ex, in particular if the narcissist has done a really good job in smearing him or her. Uh, the narcissist will say things like, he really was into me, uh, but I didn't choose him. I chose you or vice versa. She wanted to marry me, but I didn't want to. No, it's you. It's you I want. And then, of course, to the ex, then that's just total devastation. So the narcissist is getting quite a lot of hits here. He's getting a lot of supply in this situation. He's getting the supply of knowing that he's absolutely destroyed droid elizabeth and that uh she's so overwhelmed and remember that that's what they like to do they like to leave people desperate to have them fall down on the floor that's where they'd like to keep people and he's also securing his new supply that later on of course he's going to do the same thing to her or you know who knows he may have uh, mar uh he may be engaged to someone just like him uh so there's lots of things that can go on here. It's important you keep your uh, energy um, as upbeat as you can. Do your uh, trauma recovery work. Really focus on your healing because otherwise you can fall into this. It's so easy to fall into because it's devastating. I mean, this is just abuse. This is torture to be put in this situation. And it's important that you stay around good supports and also try, you know, really write those lists about all the things that the narcissist did positively for you and all the negative things and see which one becomes larger. See which one you have more items on. Mm, let me know. Okay, that's all for now and take lots of care. Bye.